Hi, I'm Candice from TopCon Healthcare. Today, I'm going to go over the Aladdin's IOL calculations. The IOL calculation screen can be accessed at any time from the main menu by selecting the search tab, then selecting a patient, then selecting the exam, which has a timestamp, then hitting open. Alternatively, the IOL calculations can be accessed immediately after patient testing simply by selecting the IOL calculation tab. As you can see, there's a separate calculation screen for the right eye and for the left eye. On this screen, you can choose which surgeon will be operating on the patient and what the desired target refraction is. There are a row of tabs that provide different formulas for different needs. Let's start with a patient with an eye that has not previously undergone refractive surgery and who needs only a basic intraocular lens. Such a calculation can be achieved with the IOL calculation tab, the Barrett tab, and the Olson tab. Based on your practice's previously configured settings, the IOL calculation tab screen will populate with the surgeon's preferred lens manufacturers and models, as well as a preferred calculation formula for that particular lens. The screen will automatically provide a range of intraocular powers that should provide the patient with a postoperative spherical equivalent refraction that is close to what was entered in the target refraction box. Note that the lens manufacturer and model can be altered at any time, as can the choice of calculation formulas. One of these calculation formulas is the Barrett Universal 2, which was designed to take into account patient eye measurements beyond the standard axial length and keratometry, including anterior chamber depth and the thickness of the patient's natural lens. The Barrett Universal 2 is also one of the options you will find under the Barrett tab. There is also the Olson Formula tab which has the option for calculating spherical intraocular lenses. Like the Barrett Universal 2, the Olson formula utilizes more information than just axial length and keratometry. Furthermore, the Olson formula will not function if any data about the patient's eye is missing or is irregular enough to have warranted a warning about possible errors. If you need to manually enter data for the Olson formula or any of the other formulas, this can be done under the Data tab. Here, you can select one of the manual options to enter keratometry, axial length, or any other data. For information on configuring intraocular lens calculation default settings, please check out TopCon Healthcare University, and we will see you later.